pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
uh, just put that there temporary so that you can get access to doctors and have clinics and, mm -hmm. and things here to keep your hospital operative. Right. And of course, we're all willing to do this, and we certainly want that to be continued. Um, but it was the plan at that time that this would be a, a temporary structure, right? And that uh, it would later turn into a permanent structure along the waterfront area, along the hospital area there, adjacent to the with area with immediately the hospital. adjacent Correct. to the hospital. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, you say, right, right, well, you're not closing the door on that idea. No, no, we we feel we have to replace it with a permanent facility, ideally. Uh, right word is grafted into the current facility. We want all right. facilities together so that there's uh, free access of patients between the facilities not having to go outside. Right. And we do have designs on that. Uh, but they're fairly expensive and we're not in a position to do those right now. Where did you plan uh, to put the new structure? Uh, there are several variants to it, but uh, one plan was to build it to, as you're facing the hospital, main entrance is to build it to the left. Of, of where the main entrance is and have it uh, co-located with a new elevator tower along those lines so we can service, get a second elevator as well. We only have one elevator. So that's one variant. Another variant uh, would be to turn uh, the second floor into an ambulatory care area and have the clinic uh, someplace along the right-hand side with the new ER. But those are two variants. We haven't really selected which is better. Mm -hmm. But it had to be phased too because <laughs> That's why it, it's, it takes some time uh, and it's a little bit more expensive, but we want to phase it so we can keep the operation on that on that footprint and keep it active while we're doing the renovation. So we have to do it in phases. Mm -hmm. And what did you say you wanted to do with the second floor? What did That's one option where we could have our second floor become the clinic area, the inventory care area. Oh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then we build a new inpatient area off to the left and then, and then the ear off to the right. I'm sorry, I was a little confusing on that. Mm -hmm. Well, there, there was some reluctance, board members who were here at the time, there was some reluctance to uh, grant this at that time, uh, only because it, it was an eyesore. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of people considered it an eyesore to be there at that particular location within the way it's set up right now. And um, I don't know how the other members feel about it right now, but the comments have come in to me quite frequently, quite often, that uh, it's still an eyesore, and that they hope someday that this will be eliminated. And we told them that that was a plan of the hospital at that time, and that we hope that they would continue with that. And we hope, certainly hope you will because we, we don't want to do anything to hurt the hospital. No, I understand. Our and intent is and, and it would be you, better. Yep. Right. If, if you remember the, the initial request was for a six year period. Yeah. And because of this, uh, problems involved down there in the location, the problems you possibly anticipated, we granted a seven year. Right, because the utilities being in the area where underground, where we originally wanted to put it, that's correct. <laughs> You know, our, our intent is still to integrate it in with the main facility. That's much more efficient than having separate facilities. But again, uh, healthcare being what it is, the economy these days, everyone's having tough times. You just have to look to the south of us. Uh, it's, it's not a pretty picture. We're doing okay. I'm proud to say that. The employees work very, very hard. But we do not have the financial means to undertake a major renovation or construction at this point. I can understand well, the comment that I heard about it is that uh, even just the landscape, even just the landscape uh, where the clinic meets the, the street along that side, uh, just look, uh, you know, not taken care of. Looks like uh, um, the, 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 the wall was higher than. At one point that was true, but over the last couple of years, the employees on a volunteer basis have landscaped the entire area of the hospital. The clinic, they plant the flowers, they take care of them, they do that in front of the hospital. This is all employee volunteers doing that. So I, I think those comments may be older, because the last couple of years they've really done a nice job. How, how is that current location going to impact the river wall? Yeah, it's not. It's not. I know it's coming up in through that area, though. Right, but I, 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 
as I recall the discussions with the engineer, it's not going to interfere at all. There's going to be a little cut that we're going to give on that corner in the future. I guess solve whatever problem they thought they would have. And we, we said fine. I just think we're so fortunate that we have it back. Thanks a lot to Laura. Uh, but I wouldn't want to do anything to jeopardize the, anything right now because of the finances, you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's that's yeah. where we are. I don't think any of us would. We certainly, we certainly need the hospital down here. Well, I appreciate whatever efforts all of you have made in the past to keep the hospital here and to work with us all. Work with the community. We've had a lot of community support. You know, said the employees have just been over backwards uh, to make that place work, and it's been successful. Any, any other questions? I, I'd like to ask you something. You know, you asked for six years, they gave you seven years. Mm -hmm. You've still got two years left. Mm -hmm. You're asking for six years again. That's going to be the eight years. That's going to be more years than you started out with. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you just ask for like two years or three years and then come back if something happens because again I, and all, ask again? I understand that. But in all honesty, I know we cannot replace that facility with a major construction in that time frame. I know we can't. We don't even know when we can get the financing, much less start a construction. But I think that you're going to ask and the, the next time that this comes up, it's going to be in a public hearing, and I think you're going to be asking for a lot. You might know, want to see if you can revise it. Maybe a little bit. I, I, no, no, I can't, to be honest with you. I know we cannot get the financing to do a major renovation like that. It, the no, the costs range from yeah. 30 to 40 million. I understand what you're saying, structure. but I mean, I just think that you're, it looks like you're asking for more years than you originally had in the very beginning, because you still have two years left. Yes. So it looks like yes. eight years. So yes. why don't you just ask for well, four I'm years, and I'll give you back up to your six years. I, I know, I know what's going on with health care, health reform at the federal level, the state issues. Uh, Medicaid is not going to be reimbursing additional funds. They're going to get cut, if anything. And the struggle will be continuous for, for health care. And I just can't honestly say I think we can solve it in three years. I know we cannot. And I, I think we have seen... And I say we, as the hospital, have seen some extremely tough times. And and I hear what you're saying, Chuck, but I think to put that two year and then come back and ask for another two year and then come back, you know, it, it's if, so if things easy. change, we'll do it right away. If some donor comes and gives us the money, believe me, we will do it because, as I said, it's more efficient to have newer construction and have these units operating in a continuous manner. Uh, so if we find a way to do it, we're going to do it. Well, but I can't, I can't tell you that I know when that's going to happen. I, I know what everybody looks at when, they're, when they're, all the complainers are complaining about the thing. They're looking at that as being a trailer. <laughs> that's what they look at, as a trailer. And a trailer can't be any place else in the village. So why can a trailer be in downtown? And I know that's what they're all looking at. Is when they look at it, they say it's, it doesn't have a permanent foundation under it, it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that. If we didn't have that facility, we wouldn't have Oh, I agree. No, right I'm, now. I'm just trying to give you a We wouldn't have that ecology which starts tomorrow. Uh, those are the things we need to sustain the economic improvement of the institution. And, you know, if we're fortunate, uh, it may not be six more years, it may be sooner. But I, I cannot tell you it's going to be three years. I know it's not. I'm not saying that. that, that you could come in and ask for another extension, but if you don't, if you're asking for the six, and they get a lot of controversy, and then they turn you down for the six years, what are you going to do? If we lose the variance and we have to shut that clinic down, yeah, the hospital goes out of business. So you see what I'm saying? If you ask for three, then come back again and ask for three again down the road. I think I, I, that's the way I, I don't. I don't understand uh, why. I would want me to ask for three. No, you're I'm going to come back and ask for it again. I am splitting hairs, but you're asking for more time now than you had in the beginning. And I think, you know, like Ted said, he's heard a lot of complaints. And I think that if you kind of sacrificed a little bit, and you're still getting, let's see, 2013, 2014. And you ask for three years, you're still up to five years. You need eight years? It could be, yes. It's Construction in and of itself is going to be two to three. And then that's assuming when Go you Go ahead, ask for your eight years. Just see where you're at then. Well, that's, I'd like to see some. Oh, excuse me. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, a, a couple of things. Uh, you know, I'm I'm glad to hear that you've got a long-range plan under motion. Uh, I'd like to know when you're when you anticipate starting some kind of a capital fundraising program 
because in my in my world, uh, starting a capital fundraising program is one of the first steps in the development of a of a capital program, and without a capital project program started, uh, and that usually runs many years before you actually put a shovel in the ground. Yes. Uh, now, I, I'd like to know if, there's, that's if there are considerations and Absolutely. Under. What the board, what our board wanted us to do before launching a capital campaign like that was to be able to demonstrate we had achieved financial stability. So when we go to the donors, they will know for sure that we're not going to be using any fundraising money for operations. We're solid, we're okay, and we have another year to be able to do that. 2012 is our target year to make that solid. So we can go uh, on a capital campaign and say, uh, you, can, you can rely on the fact that this is a going concern, it's solid, uh, the funds you will give will go for, for a capital campaign and not to support losing operations. That's what our board wanted us to do. Anybody else have any other other comments? Uh, okay. What what needs to happen because it is a variance uh, and an amendment to the variance will require a public hearing, and I, I believe that's what what Shuki indicated. Uh, if you would like, we can schedule a public hearing on this and. Uh, and have a formal and take formal action on it. Uh, I think you've got at least a couple, of, at least one year before you really need to have formal action from from the board regarding what you want to do. So I my my thought is anytime within this next year, if you would like to uh, formally formally petition, fill out an application, and we'll amend will advertise in the paper for a public hearing okay. and schedule a public hearing, um, we'll be glad to do that. I mean, okay. we, we needed to hear what your what your issues were and what uh, what plans you have to, to do for the hospital. Uh, and I, and I again, for other board members have said this, I'll say the same thing. I really don't want to do anything that's going to jeopardize this hospital because I think it's a, a very important part of this community. So that said, uh, thank you very well, much. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you. If you have, uh, what you're saying is that he can come back. He should come back in at a later time and do the year 2012 or the beginning of 2013. I mean, he could come back. He could come back next month. But but I think he's got. You've got time to be able to get anything you need to do in in order. Uh, and you get a get an application to the enforcement officer, okay. and uh, we'll get we'll, we'll get it advertised and, and get the public hearing on the schedule, and we'll and we'll we'll take action on it. Okay, Is that, Yep. Uh, anybody? Anybody? Anything else? I've got a whole agenda here of uh, of items for our organizational meeting. You're all welcome to stay <laughs> if you'd like. Uh, this, uh, for this coming year,